Uh, next one in the inbox comes from Choo Choo. Choo Choo wants to know, David, have you ever gotten to design any of your NASCAR paint schemes, whether the entire car or parts? Man, you know, I, I, I really never designed, uh, you know, uh, that's kind of not my forte, but I have just had a, a blank white or black race car that I just added decals on, you know, and kind of uh, with the permission from uh, the partners uh, that were going to be on the race car to kind of change their color scheme a little bit so the car would kind of flow. Uh, I've been involved in that, but, you know, there's not one that stands out in my mind that, that I helped design. I've had some great looking race cars over the years, great partners, uh, but I haven't really been involved in the design of it, you know. So uh, that's a great question. And, uh, you know, I'm not really involved in, in the designs of the different sponsors we have. Uh, they work with professionals. Uh, there's, there's people in our industry that, that are really good at, at uh, making the, uh, the sponsor, their name pop out of these cars, the way these cars look the colors they use and, uh, you know, especially when you're racing underneath the lights at night. Uh, but I have really not really been a part of that process. And uh, it's always cool to see the renderings when they finish the final, uh, the final design and you finally see what they came up with. You're like, man, that's awesome, you know. But, uh, but no, I don't really take part in that part of it, which is, uh, you know, which uh, is one of the coolest things for not only me, other competitors and other racing teams to see how it all turns out. What's been some of your favorite paint schemes you've had, David? Oh, man, there's been so many. <laughs> you know, so many. Uh, water, obviously, Whataburger, uh, the Brett Bear Special Report car, you know. I mean, it's just, you know, my Chasco race cars over the years. Uh, you know, when I drove for Spears Manufacturing, uh, you know, those were cool looking race trucks. Uh, you know, we just had a great sponsor, Good Boy Vodka, the other, you know, a couple weeks ago at Bristol. That car looked great. Uh, when I did a throwback to AJ Foyt, I thought that was a cool looking race car. I mean, there's just been so many, uh, that have been just, you know, to me, outstanding. They look great. They look fast. Uh, and man, the, the fans have liked them, you know what I mean? So, uh, but those are some that come to mind. Don, an iconic paint scheme just goes a long way. You know, off the top of my head, I think of, you know, Jeff Gordon's Flames car and the Rainbow Warrior car. I think everybody forgets his AARP car. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, you know, Dale Earnhardt black number three good wrench, the Petty Blue STP car, the Dale Jr. red Budweiser car, and probably the orange Tony 20 Home Depot car. Those are the ones that come to mind of iconic. I mean, those just, they go a long way in the association of a NASCAR driver and, and their fan base and creating an identity. Well, I'm going to be the oddball here. And I do agree with you. Some of those paint schemes, they are just going to live forever on in NASCAR. This one has always done it for me. The 1998 Phillips Ford that Jeff Bodine drove. And, and granted, right, you guys know I'm close with Jeff Bodine. But even before that, before I knew him, when a, I was a five, six-year-old boy playing NASCAR 99 on the PlayStation, I always drove that car. And that's the car that really got me hooked on NASCAR, raced it any chance I got. I even have a 124 scale of that car at my desk. And, and I really enjoy that. People ask me, oh, what's this car? And I love discussing it and giving the backstory on it. For me, it's that car. Tyler, how do we know? We could have guessed that one easily. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that was that was the low-hanging fruit for Dominic. David, what's been some of, besides yourself, of, of other drivers, and whether it was guys you grew up watching or maybe even some of these that stand out now, what are some of your favorite paint schemes? Man, just, you know, obviously Richard Petty, you know, that 43 SP, STP car. I mean, over the years, a kid growing up watching NASCAR, you know, uh, uh, some of Terry Labonte's uh, iconic colors, you know, with Kellogg's and uh, Frosted Flakes. And, uh, uh, you know, the Dale Earnhardt one comes to mind. Uh, Jeff Gordon, you know, the, the Rainbow Color Warriors car. Uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, you know, those those are some that just come to my mind right, right, off, right off the bat, you know. But, uh, 
man, you know, the ones you mentioned uh, earlier, uh, Tyler, uh, just, you know, been amazing. Dale Earnhardt, you know, not uh, Daryl Walter when he had Western Auto and some of those chrome looking cars that you really ever saw chrome, you know, and those things were kind of iconic and they were good looking with bright orange and chrome and man, just those cars are very iconic for a while with Daryl Waltrip. And, uh, you know, you think about uh, Junior Johnson and, and uh, you know, the Bill Elliott number nine, you know, the Melling Ford uh, Mustang that Bill drove and won all those races with. There's just been so many over the years. It's uh, hard to remember all of them. Yeah, and the fans, you know, they, they become fans of not only just the driver, but the product they're selling too. I mean, I'll be honest, Dom, you know, next year, whether he was going to stay at Gibbs or not, it, it's going to be weird just seeing Kyle Busch not driving the M&M's 18 car. Uh, we, we knew that the sponsor was going to change no matter what, but just the fact that M&M's isn't going to be around, I mean, the two over this last decade plus have become synonymous with each other. Couldn't agree more with that. Those, those iconic, that yellow with the blue and the red and the green M&Ms, just all the Mars paint schemes, too. I, I'd go beyond that and say the Skittles car. Having Skittles a part of the sport since the 1990s, like the Ernie Irvin paint schemes, the M&Ms car dating back to Ken Schrader, Elliot Sadler. It really is the end of an era. It's really sad to see that that's going to go. And again, I think those paint schemes will definitely live on in our sport for years to come. We'll see images and video, and they're going to show back some past NASCAR races when they start showing promos for next year's races. We're still going to see that 18 car in that. And, man, the, the Interstate Batteries car, too, Dave and Tyler, I would say is another iconic one. When you think back to Dale Jarrett, Bobby Labonte, J.J. Uh, Ailey, and Kyle Busch running that car, definitely that, that iconic 18, bright green with the, the, the red numbering of the 18. Yeah, and, and and I would say, too, one thing I, I would think that we learned from Dale Jarrett, David, at the end of his career when he wasn't winning a whole lot, I mean, he and UPS were still a great partnership. Michael Waltrip with Napa, that was a great partnership. You don't have to be winning races even to have a good thing going with these partners in these paint schemes. It's about, you know, relating to your fans on and off the track. Man, you hit it right on the, the you hit the nail right on the head, man. Uh, you know, when you think about the big brown truck, man, I remember. Oh yeah. You know, UPS. You think of UPS, you think of Del Del, Del Jarrett. You know, and uh, you know, I, I still look at the Interstate Batteries car and think of Bobby Bobby Labonte. You know, and uh, you know, when I see Tide at the local grocery store, when I see that Tide box, I think of Ricky Rudd. You know, and uh, yeah. you know, just some some products go with certain drivers you know and uh man they last a lifetime you know you can't uh you know you just think about that you know the the uh you know when you see gm gm anything that black logo has got blue in it you see that gm you know i think of dale earnhardt you know and uh yeah it's uh there were some, those were some cool ones you know and uh but man i can't help when i go into uh you know when i see Another one that comes to mind, Coors Light. People drinking Coors Light. You know, who do you guys think of? Sterling Marlin, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know, so pretty Those cool mountains stuff. mountains running along the side of the paint scheme, especially in the Chip Ganassi days and the Dodge days. That silver bullet car, man, it's one of the more iconic ones of the mid-2000s. I loved it, uh, Dom, when my, my, I think it was our first visit to Daytona, or uh, it was first or second visit. And uh, we met up with Sterling Marlin's family. Sterling wasn't there, but the only beer was Cooler's Light. I mean, that, that was all that we were going to have with the Marlin family. You know what oh, I mean? Big time. Big That's time. Tough. His wife and I believe maybe daughters, daughters-in-law. There was some family, extended Marlin family there at that dinner that night. That's and all they were drinking. That's all there was. And, and <laughs> you have to keep in mind, Coors had not been sponsoring him for, what, almost 20 years at that point? And they were still loyal to the brand. All right. And it's a great story. Uh, I love it. Uh, it's terrific just to see that that loyalty. I mean, Lowe's, you know, they, they didn't finish with Jimmy Johnson at the end of his NASCAR career. But I, I think they probably came away with that, Dom, saying, you know what? I, I think Jimmy Johnson's probably made Lowe's a lot of money over the years. I, I would guess that Jimmy probably doesn't have to, to pay for anything still when he goes into Lowe's. 
I would imagine so. And, and heck, they got their money's worth. They got out of the sport. But yes, it was a great partnership. That's another iconic paint scheme. Lowe's and Jimmy Johnson over the years. And just backtracking a couple steps here. I did get word from somebody, I won't name them, but a source close to the Marlin family said, as of a few years ago, Marlin was still getting free Coors Light all these years later. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would hope so, man. <laughs> <laughs> you have to That's imagine right. Jimmy Johnson's got like a charge card at Lowe's. Right. But, well, uh, I think, I think you know, they played a major part in, you know, I, I don't think, you know, when Jimmy Johnson goes to Lowe's, I don't think, you know, shop, shopping for the best price is on his agenda. I think he just goes there and gets what he wants and pays for it. I, you know, whether they pay, pay for it or not, they helped him get to the point where it don't matter what it costs, he's buying it. You know what I'm saying? 